thank you from the bottom of our hearts for everything that y'all did. Um, we couldn't have done it without you. You know, we had the $25 million goal, and we surpassed it by raising $30.6 million during the COVID year. Um, um, challenging fundraising um, during a global pandemic, but um, we don't quit. We just keep going. You are sitting and standing in front of easily one of the finest schools serving children with autism on the East Coast, if not the United States. That was the dream, and I want to thank you for making this young man's dream a reality. What your vision and your help has permitted us to do is come to this point today, where we can serve these students in a beautiful facility that was built in the 1930s to serve people who nobody else was serving. All of you all for being here. Uh, thanks for making this campaign such a successful campaign. Um, I hope that each of you will take the opportunity to look at the facility. Um, it was designed with a lot of care, a lot of expertise. It's designed to treat uh, or to help um, our autistic children who come here. But more importantly, and I think Adam will tell you, it's designed to train um, people who will be dealing with autism who won't take, have the benefit of a school like this. My role to here today is to celebrate one person in particular, the most essential person to the villa and um, the villa's success in the last 15 years. And that's the person who means a lot to a lot of us here today, and that's Kathy Burke Barrett. So, I would, yes, a round of applause for her. Kathy, I'd like you to, to come and join me up here. And um, I'd also like to ask your daughters, Katie, and, and me to, uh, to join me up here as well, if you would. When Kathy came to the villa in 2007, we had an aging campus, a $10 million budget, and the villa served only 600 children. Today, we look around at a beautiful, updated campus, this incredible new school, a $20 million budget, and now, importantly and powerfully, it, um, it served, the villa serves more than 3,000 children and families. That's an 80% increase. Kathy, you have been a catalyst for change. Um, when you asked me to be board of trustees, I was like, I, I was truly confused because you're a mentor, coach, and friend to me, and um, it, it, it was truly an honor. And being in the nonprofit industry, um, you are such an inspiration to all of us in the industry. You're an incredible fundraiser with, with what you've built with Jenny. Um, you're an incredible leader, but more importantly, you have a loving heart. You have an incredible family, but your family extends a lot more than just your leader family. Your family is right here on campus. It's this incredible team that you have built, and um, your legacy will never be forgotten. We can't thank you for everything you have done. So with yes. So with that, it's very fortunate to have you here today, and we want to honor your incredible legacy of service and amazing leadership by dedicating the Vita School building. Thanks for being here. I hope I get to see everybody and say hello.